Hi, it's Gabrielle from Scenestar. I'm here with Gab, better known as Japanese Wallpaper, who is gracing the massive Big Sound lineup. Uh, Gab, how are you feeling about the next couple of days? I'm um, pretty good, thanks. Bit nervous, but we'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on, um, you know, the concept and the vibe and the lineup of Big Sound? Pretty cool. Pretty cool um, so far, so good. Saw some really good bands last night. Um, yeah, I can get pretty intimidated by like industry stuff, so. I think my tactic is just like going and seeing lots of bands and hanging out with friends and it'll be fine. Awesome. And you know, you've been touring over August. How, how's that been? Any highlights? Uh, it's been really good. It's just finished actually, but um, yeah, I don't know. I had a really good time and the crowds are really awesome and yeah, it's just been the best. You um, just recently dropped Cocoon, you know, have fans, you know, taking it pretty well. They, um, all your other tracks have obviously been massive. Um. I think so. It's kind of like I try and stay away from like the, like looking at the statistics and all <laughs> of that stuff after something comes out. And especially with this one, I was super nervous just because of like I was singing on it for yeah. the first time. Um, so, yeah, I, th- I don't know. It's, it, had, um, it had a really nice reception at the shows. Which is cool. Awesome. So I think so. Um, obviously, you're a pretty multi-talented musician. Play a lot of instruments. What was the first instrument that, that started it for you? Um, so I started playing the piano when I was like six. Oh, cool. And then did that for a while. And then just picked up a few other things as I went along. And um, things have probably been, what, a bit of a whirlwind since taking out Unearthed High in 2014? Yeah, it's been actually really weird because <laughs> it seems like a whirlwind and like, on the internet and stuff, it is, but in, like, just my day-to-day life, like, I don't tour that much, and I live, like, a little bit out of the way, and, like, it doesn't really, like, my life hasn't changed that much, but <laughs> at the same time, then there's, like, you know, this month comes along, and yeah. we're touring, and big sound, and then it's, like, it's pretty intense. Do you, um, do you have any new music in the pipeline at all? Yeah, I'm, like, halfway through an album, yeah, and cool. it'll be done, hopefully, at the end of the year. And it'll be released then as well. Yeah, I hope so. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And um, anything that you can reveal on it or what's it, what's um, it like? Change from your previous sound? Or? Yeah, I think it's a change a bit. I'm trying to like not get too pigeonholed in one like mindset or like, you know, just in being like a producer. There's a lot of more live instruments on it and cool. I'm singing on it and... I don't know. It kind of. Someone heard some of it the other day and said they thought it sounded like Death Cab for Cutie. So there's oh, that as well. I'd yeah. say that that's a compliment, a big compliment. Yeah, I'm stoked. Um, I love that uh, band. You were a support act for M83 earlier this year as well. That would have been pretty awesome. They're an unreal band. Yeah, that was so much fun. They're really lovely guys. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And um, any you know acts that you'd recommend to people to go and see at Big Sound over the next few days? Yeah, go and see Phaser Days. They're from New Zealand. I saw them last night and it was like the best thing in the world. Go see it, yeah. And um, at your gig, are you going to be singing? Yeah. Cool. We've got some guests as well. It'll be fun. Awesome, cheers. Awesome, thanks. <laughs>